Good morning and hello you beautiful people and welcome to another video here on DAOTP and Pause Games. Now today this one's going to be a little bit different and a little bit shot out of sequence just because I didn't do it in the right order. Um, so basically I am here today in Blackpool and in the mo at the moment I'm here in the Boulevard Hotel which is one of the Blackpool Pleasure Beach hotels. As you can see behind us, if the, uh, the sun will work, that is the big one and the Pleasure Beach is right there. So, um, this video I'm filming right now is actually shot after the footage you're about to see. Um, like I said, things were a little bit out of sequence. Um, but what we'll do is we'll show you a little bit of footage from the Pledge Beach, which we did yesterday, uh, and then I'll show you a room tour here in the Boulevard Hotel, and then we're going to go off to the tower. So, quite a bit in this video, but like I say, it's just shot a little bit out of sequence. So yeah, the, uh, join me and a few mates, uh, as uh, and my fiance, as we um, had a lovely fun day for late night riding at Pleasure Beach. Um, it was Saturday the 8th of uh, August 2020, at time of recording, so the first day of the new mask rules. So obviously here in the hotel, all public areas except within the bar, you do have to wear the masks, and for the park, it's pretty much the same, any indoor space, uh, masks are required. Uh, people aren't following it, <laughs> but we are, because, you know, it's the law, and it makes sense. Um, but yeah, no, we had a really good day yesterday. Like I said, we'll show you some footage of that now, um, here, um, and then later on we'll come back and do a little room tour around the Boulevard Hotel. So, enjoy. <laughs>
carved out of the sandstone cliff on the west bank of the Nile stand the temples of the Abu Simbel. They remained unknown to the outside world until their discovery in 1813. Going to find the Egyptian king, Ramesses II, these colossal
Yeah. Do you want to just call someone over? That's fine. Yeah, great salad. Yeah. Is it great? Is it good? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hi, welcome back. Um, yes, yeah, so I didn't get as much footage as I perhaps wanted to uh, yesterday in the park, but I just, we had a good day, so that's why. Uh, we ended the day with a brilliant night ride on the Pepsi Max Big One, which is something I don't think I've ever done, is doing it in the dark, so that was amazing. Uh, we got back here to the hotel last night, um, had a little bit of food, a little bit of drink in the bar, really good, and a brilliant night's sleep here in the room. And that's what I'm gonna show you now. So let's head outside and I'll show you the little room tour here around the Boulevard Hotel here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Okay, so here we are in the Boulevard Hotel. This is a executive suite room, I believe. And we're here on the fourth floor in room 421. So as you walk in the room, I've got a lovely array of coat hangers, coat hooks just here, and then luggage storage available just down there. First of all, we'll make a right turn into the bathroom. Really nice actually in here. Single sink in these rooms, a lovely makeup mirror. Hello. And around this way we've got all the amenities you might find. Spare toilet bowl, some soaps. And these really nice looking uh, con not condiments, what's the word called? <laughs> you know what I mean. It's conditioner, shampoo and body lotion. And a really nice shower and bath. Hi, let's move to the other room. So in here you've got some nice storage. There's a hairdryer there, there's a fridge down here which does come with some complimentary water and all your milks available in there as well. In here you've got slippers, iron, an ironing board and some really nice Boulevard Hotel branded, um, whatever they're called, <laughs> robes. Um, but you can buy these for like 65 quid so I wouldn't be doing that. Uh, into the main room. We've got a little tea and coffee making facilities here and the best thing about this is you get these wonderful Funshine um, short, bed, short beds, which is really nice. I like everything's all branded up, like the coffee. Uh, you've got yeah, coffee there and then hot chocolate, so that's really, really nice. And even the little mug look, they're nicely branded, which is really, really nice. So then into the room itself, we did sleep in this last night, so I've tried to make it make it up a little bit to make it seem like when we walked in. Um, so over here, on the desk, we have a lovely, if it's going to focus, <laughs> maybe not, we have a, a lovely boulevard pen or pencil. There we go. That's really nice. We have tissues and a lovely phone, a lovely remote, and then this massive TV. This has got to be like a 55 inch, if not bigger. Massive, this thing is. Huge. Lovely chair there. And then the big bad boy itself. It must be like a king bed or something. Absolutely huge. Really, really big. And we were lucky that we were on one of the corner rooms as well. So we've got these two massive windows. And I'll show you the view out there in a second. But yeah, really nice views. Technically, this is a park view. But I'll show you in a second. We do have a little bit of sea view over there as well. So... Two for one with this one. Uh, next to the beds, you've got your two sockets and also two USBs. Controls here for the lamps and the lights. And then same for the other side of the bed as well. You've got plugs and USBs. So yeah, really, really good. The curtains are brilliant as well. Really good blackout curtains. And you have that nice little crossover in the middle so you don't get any, any light flooding through. So let me show you the view we've got. So out of this window, you can see we've got a lovely view over there to Steeplechase. We've got the Big Dipper going across, the big one just in front of us. Icon to the back. You can just about see the air race thing, whatever it's called there, Red Arrows, just in the, in the foreground. Uh, the car park for the hotel is located just over that side. Over in the distance, you can make out Wallace and Gromit, and then Valhalla just behind that. Ice Blast is over there. And you can just about see the flying machines when they're on as well, just peeking out behind the track. So pretty much, you can see everything from this angle, even Nick's streak right in the background. So it's a blooming good view from here. 
And then like I mentioned, this other little window over here, not only do you get an, a few extra views of the car park and of this side of that infusion and all the bits and pieces from this side of the park, but you also get a, a little obstructed view out to the south pier and also the sea is just in the distance over there. So a really good room for your views. I say bit of best of both worlds really. So yeah, really, really nice. So one thing I haven't actually checked out was the TV. Normally the first thing I'd, I'd click on in the room, but because we checked in sort of midway through our part day yesterday, I didn't really have a chance. So I don't know what's available on this, but it's, it's all branded up, which is nice. So you can, looks like you can rent movies. Um, it knows my name. <laughs> That's there. And there's the room number at the top, 421. There's no 420, which is a shame. Uh, what do we have down here? So there's a weather, room service. So quite a bit of bit of stuff here. Um, what was really nice actually yesterday, because it was a late night riding event. They did, um, when we got back to the room, let me spin it around. Yeah, when we got back to the room, they actually had um, the, their conference centre, which is basically below where we're standing now, uh, open. And they had a, a new snack menu. Um, reasonable prices, I think pizzas were like 11 quid. Uh, we had chicken wings, which were like £3.50. Uh, they had like uh, risotto and burgers and stuff. Uh, and then just a nice drink selection. They put a little late night menu on just because the part was open later, which I thought was a really nice touch. It wasn't busy, so it really didn't need to be done. We found a table and a, and a little sofa area in the bar. So there was loads of spare tables, so good that they've done that. And to be fair, I'm really impressed with this hotel. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than what we normally pay when we come to Blackpool. I'm happy with a travel lodge, and I normally stay at the South Shore Travel Lodge, the one just next to the Pledge of Beach entrance. entrance. Um, but I tell you what, let's have a sit down here, and I'll tell you my story about how I managed to get this. Such a good value. Okay, I'm in my little seat here. So. Um, originally, we were, gonna, we, we, we were gonna come here anyway. Every year from around my birthday, we come to Blackpool. It's just what we do. Um, and normally, like I say, we stay in the travel lodge and it's normally about 70 quid a night for the room. Um, I left it a little bit late to book this time. And by the time it came to booking a few weeks before we were here, uh, it had gone up to 130 pound and I'm not really willing to pay that for the travel lodge. So whenever we buy, uh, buy Pledge Beach wristbands, um, I normally do the club card boost thing from Tesco where you can get, uh, I think you pay 50p of club card vouchers which gives you a £1.50 to spend um, on Pledge Beach. So normally it works out for two wristbands you pay just about 50 pence of actual money and the rest of it you use your club card vouchers for. So I'd already paid for that anyway and then um, I had to obviously find a room because with us being here till 10 o'clock last night I didn't like the thought of driving back and I wanted to make a weekend of it. Um, so then, and what I noticed on the club card, um, the vouchers page, you can also use your um, vouchers for hotels.com. And there's a little bit different. So it's five pound for every voucher you spend, you get 15 pound to spend on hotels.com. This hotel boulevard is, is for sale on that. So we managed to get a massive 90 pound off this room. So we ended up paying less for this room than we would have paid over at the travel lodge over at the other side. So all in all, I think we paid £70 for this room, um, which is a bloody good bargain to be fair for what you get. Um, so it's definitely somewhere now I've kind of spoiled ourselves because by being here, I feel like I can't go back to the travel lodge um, because it's a really nice hotel. Like the decor, the staff, the rooms themselves are really high quality for Blackpool. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible to say, but we have sat in Blackpool in a really nice room, potentially the nicest room I've ever stayed in in the UK. Um, so yeah, all in all, really happy with this place and I'll definitely be back. Bed was really comfortable. Um, I, M said it was a little bit hard, but I f prefer the hard sort of bed. Um, normally I, I stir all night when I'm at home and I slept through this one uh, last night. So no, really, really happy with the room. Really, really good.
Okay, so that was going to do us for our little room tour here at the Boulevard Hotel, if the light will come back up and show me. There we go. Um, so, um, yeah, what we're going to do now, um, this is obviously day two. This is now the Sunday. Like I said, this video is shot all a bit out of sequence. Um, we're going to head up to uh, the promenade today. Um, we've got some tickets booked for the tower, which is something I've not done for a while. Um, so we're going to head up to the tower later on. We might pop into Coral Island when we're up that end and do a few of the little things up on the north side of Blackpool. Maybe get some lunch. And then maybe head home early afternoon. So that's the plan. Come with us. We'll take you for a little trip up the prom. We'll head onto the beach and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, let's head out the room and head up towards the north end of Blackpool.
We now are ascending to the top of the Blackpool Tower, a height of 380 feet, Grand. in just 69 seconds. Wow, three, look at that though, I love the view. Three tons of metal. When we reach the top of the tower, you'll exit out the doors behind our cabin crew, facing the world famous glass skywalk. Each pane of glass is triple laminated and can hold the weight of five tons. When you're at the top of the tower, please follow the one-way system to the left and maintain your social distance. The one-way system will lead you around the first level and to the spiral staircase where you can visit our upper two levels. All levels have a strict no smoking policy and that includes e-cigarettes. When you're ready to come down, please follow the one-way system to the town side of the tower and we'll be there to meet you. Yeah. If you have any questions, you can find one of our cabin crew team at the top of the tower. We hope you have a wonderful time here at the Blackpool Tower Eye.
Because I'm not going to look out. So that brings us to the end of our trip to Blackpool. So we visited the Pleasure Beach, we had a night in the Boulevard Hotel, a walk up the prom and a trip up the Blackpool Tower, a little go on the piers and then a little look out at the beautiful mm, Blackpool Sea. So thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our journeys and content. Thank you ever so much. See you in the next one. Bye.